Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can create categories based off a budget spend sheet. So what I've got on the screen there is some figures that I've spent over the year with the totals. And then I've created some categories. So you can see there that I've got water, gas, electric down as utilities, media and phone as entertainment, and the rest is self-explanatory. And then I've created a pie chart which will categorize the spend for me so looking at this 40 percent of all my expense is on loans so that's what i want to do and we're going to do that on a separate sheet so if i just get myself a a new sheet i'll copy that stuff let's just get this i'll copy just the figures for now copy the figures put them onto sheet two so first off, I need to do the totals. Quick way of doing that would be to highlight all the figures and the space at the end for the total column and the total row and use the key command Alt equals, which basically does the sum function for you. And then you can label it up like that, total, total. Now you'd set this up without any figures to start off with, but it's something that I use myself. Now I want to copy these items so these are the actual items paste them down here and i want to categorize these so fuel is just going to be fuel but then we've got water which is going to be utilities and so is gas and electric so i can just pull those down and then these are going to be media is going to be entertainment so is a phone and then loans are going to be loans now what i need is a little table up here with the categories so i can do this so fuel utilities entertainment and loans now i could have done transpose there i suppose but never mind oops loans Okay, so what I'm going to do is use the sum if function, but I'm also going to use named ranges because if I don't use named ranges, it's going to come up with the wrong information. Now I need to get some figures in here. So basically, I'm going for the annual total. So fuel annual total is that one. I'll just tick that formula and then pull that down. So the rest of them, and it gives me. The figures so if i highlight these three utilities you can see the score on the door down the bottom there is 3252 so that's what i want to come on here so i want to come on the underneath there now let's name these so if i highlight this list call this products I'm going to call this little list amount. And then I can use those with the sum if function because if I don't use names, I'll have to use dollar signs because when I want to pull this across, I'll have it'll change the references. So the sum if function equals sum if open bracket. So if products. comma is equal to fuel that one comma add up amount and then close the bracket click the tick comes up with the right figure make it into pounds pull it over and it should have worked it out and there's that utilities figure three two five two so you know it's working so that was using named ranges now, finally, the last thing I want is to put a little pie chart on this. So I'm going up to the insert option, selecting chart. Comes up with a column chart. I want a pie chart. I'm just going to go finish there. I'll fix it later on. I want to tweak this chart a little bit. So if I right click on these segments, you've got the option there of inserting data labels which just puts the numbers in there. If I right click again on it, I can format data labels because what I want is not the number, I want the percentage and 
the category in there and then I'll click OK to that. That's what I want and then I don't need that. So I can delete that off. And then I get my little chart, click off it, click back on it so I can resize it, make it a little bit smaller than that, move it underneath this list. And then I've created my little categories in a pie chart for my spend. So that's all I want to talk about in this little video. How I can use that to see what you're spending your money on and where you're spending your money. So hopefully that video was of use. Thank you for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.